Hi Engineering Janta, I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we will be discussing the most commonly or most frequently asked concepts in the coding or tech interviews of various companies and the reason for this was that a lot of students were pinging me that their interviews, their various tech rounds were scheduled somewhere or the other. Alongside that, a huge chunk of students is about to enter final year this July or August and they are hoping that their placements would arrive and henceforth they need some commonly asked concepts or some commonly asked topics from where they can take references from where they can take some solutions and present it in front of the interviewer if asked. So for that case, again, I'm here to guide you. And before I proceed, go ahead, follow me on this social media handle. This is my Instagram handle. You can directly connect to me here and I can answer your queries directly there. Fine. So Shuklaji Speaks is my handle. Henceforth, we should proceed further. And the first thing that you have at your disposal is arrays. Everybody starts data structures from arrays, right? And if you correctly see, I can bet that at least 80 to 85 percent people who are watching this video have started DSA with array, either completed the array and then left DSA, then again started with array and completed array and then again left DSA, then again array. So this vicious loop goes on or some people haven't studied this fully and the vicious loop again for them continues. Fine. So to all those people. I have a solution for you, but you have to wait till the end of the video. Fine. Now, if I talk about arrays, they are building block of data structures because their expansion, their expanse of application is till linked list, stacks, various other algorithms of searching, sorting. But alongside that, it is often used in some very advanced concepts. Some concepts like two pointers, sliding window protocol. In all these advanced concepts where things become tough for students there as well arrays give their expanse of application fine so here in these particular concepts a lot of times you will be asked arrays also algorithms like binary search are often used in various questions or sometimes they give you a question where initial approach or initial part of the problem is solved by binary search and then rest something else or some other algorithm or some other kind of concept is being used at that point of time you need to have a good understanding of it for that purpose if you're not very fluent in arrays you cannot implement that i would always suggest practice arrays so much and i'm not talking about the common array problems that you solve where you store some elements you delete some elements not those work so much on array problems which are good problems work so much on them that solving binary search becomes as easy as writing hello world or as easy as adding two numbers fine to that extent practice arrays and for that purpose as i always suggest i'll straight away jump to that list which is top 150 not out list we'll straight away go to it you simply go on this search bar fine and here you search top 150 not out prep insta that's what you need to search fine once you search it you come to this top 150 not out with solutions these top 150 not out questions are the questions that i have very carefully curated if you have solved these top 150 questions i can guarantee you and i always guarantee you this if you work a lot on these questions you know them on your fingernails alongside that you have good skills and projects you can be hired in any company believe me you if you know this list you can qualify the tech round of any company the dsa round you will fly through that round fine you'll have absolute fluence in that round i'm not kidding netflix uber ola swiggy zomato whatnot man companies beat any product based company beat any service based company if you're well versed with this whole list and i'll talk about the usage of this list as well but if you know the whole list at the back of your hand you can get selected in any product based company fine now coming to the arrays part if you see these are the good problems of arrays fine this you have to solve and you will see this particular type of concept 
extends to various other portions of important concepts as well like they extend to dynamic programming they extend to trees i'll show you examples in this list only i'll show you examples fine but here focus on such problems contains duplicate valid anagram product of array except self encoding and decoding of strings top k frequent elements fine all these problems are often often asked in interviews fine so here you can practice yourself on arrays once you become fluent in arrays once you have super fluency here other concepts would become a cake walk for you i'm not kidding but don't just stop at arrays you have to go further beyond arrays if you're somebody who's struggling in arrays or who's struggling in the vicious cycle of this i have recently built a video where i explained about how much dsa you need for 10 to 20 lpa there i have told how to break the cycle fine how to solve questions there i have told fine so you can watch that video for reference now let's proceed forward so beyond arrays there is recursion and decision trees now recursion is a concept which by far has been the most asked concepts in the last 10 years nobody leaves any interview round without recursion if it is a dsa round most of the times 90% of the times recursion would be somewhere or the other in your interview fine now decision trees and recursion together they go hand in hand fine they are basically concepts that encompass tries backtracking they encompass combinatorics this is a concept picked up from discrete maths and used in programming fine so their application extends to combinatorics dynamic programming and graphs fine so you have a lot of problems which are often used or used in real industry or asked in interviews where these two concepts are heavily asked now how do you practice these two concepts again the same list fine the same list you have to come here you simply start sliding fine and here when you go further you will have this trees then you will have backtracking where you can solve a few problems fine and then you have priority queues after that you have tries so in tries and backtracking you can have a lot of practice of this particular topic which is decision trees fine so decision trees if i talk broadly about it na and we'll talk about this dynamic programming in detail but decision trees if i broadly talk about then they primarily involve heavy usage of tries fine backtracking combinatorics a bit of graphs fine alongside this a bit of dp as well dynamic programming as well fine so decision trees is a bunch in this bunch a lot of problems or a lot of concepts lie you have to cover all these concepts in a manner where you have a basic idea that how decision tree affects them how recursion affects them fine for that you have to go through that 150 not out list you will understand that well enough fine now if i go further as i told you graphs super important <coughs> the reason i'm expanding on it is this particular branch is very vast even some concepts of trees breed from graphs fine this is a whole different branch of mathematics so in graphs you have to understand things from very basic as i have written here it is a collection of nodes and edges but these nodes and edges can perform in n number of uh, ways they can they can actually present them in front of you in n different combinations so for that you need to have a very good understanding of it it is too vast as i told you their most common application involves bfs and dfs which is breadth first search and depth first search most asked problems are finding the shortest paths and cycle detection now both these types you will find in top 150 not out list if you are doing that list you will find these type of problems i'll show you upcoming in upcoming slides i'll show you have proper problems there fine now once you cross graphs there is something called as hash maps now this data structure is usually not known to many people who are not serious about data structures to all the students who actually know or have a faint idea what exactly is asked in the interviews of industry they know hash maps fine 
So hash maps are a data structure that stores key value pairs where each key is unique. Fine. So generally you have this kind of structure of hash map where you have key, here you have value and this key is always unique in nature. Fine. This is unique in nature. Values might be similar but keys can never be similar. They are unique, identifiable. They are often coupled with the concepts of arrays as I told you. Array का बहुत बड़ा एक्सपेंस है एरे किसी भी जगह पूछी जा सकती है फाइन सो एरे इज ऑफन कपल विद हैश मैप्स मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स आस्ड हेयर आर एनाग्राम चेकिंग टू सम प्रॉब्लम एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी काउंट प्रॉब्लम फाइन सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ इमेजिन वट इफ आई टेल यू दैट इफ यू आर सॉल्विंग वन फिफ्टी नॉट आउट क्वेश्चन यूल सॉल्व दिस इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग आई शो यू सी If you see, this is array and hashing. Fine. First topic, two sum problem, valid anagram problem, group anagram problems, top k frequent problems. Fine. So you have this much here itself. Even you have free problems written here. You have a few problems from dynamic programming as well. Fine. A few problems like longest consecutive sequence. Now this is often categorized as a DP problem as well. Fine. However, a few experts believe that this is not a dynamic programming problem a few do believe that it is a dynamic programming problem but here itself in the first portion itself you have that much of practice so i have designed this bunch in a manner that even if you fall short on some questions you'll still have an understanding of all the concepts that are important for interview fine now moving beyond hash maps heaps very very important now what is a heap let's first of all understand that it is a complete binary tree where each node follows the heap property either max heap or min heap now what is this heap property understand now consider this is a particular heap fine so it is a binary tree first of all second it follows heap property either max heap or min heap if it is a max heap then the value for max heap i am telling you this the value of parent node is greater than or equal to value of child node fine this is for max heap now when i talk about min heap min heap property in this exact reverse of it value of parent node is less than equal to value of child node fine so it follows either of these properties first thing secondly most common problems that are asked here are kth largest element in an array priority queues problems now a lot of places where you will practice heaps you will not find priority queue problems for this what i have done is on this list i have specifically given you in a manner that you can solve such things easily now if you see if you keep on going further in this you'll have graphs you'll have priority queues and heaps as a topic here you'll solve c kth largest element in a stream k closest points to origin kth largest element in an array now you see array is being implemented in priority queues and heaps as well so you need a proper cohesiveness in all your topics but in a manner where your arrays are the base of everything you are super fluent in arrays if you are you'll easily visualize other data structures as well fine now if you see all the important questions are already present here see if i click on kth largest element in an array the benefit of this list is you have proper intuition proper approach written here you have your favorite language in which you can write the code and it is a very very intuitive question very interesting question to solve fine if i go back in that case if you see kth largest element in a stream fine this is also available now if you see again the task is given initialization is given dynamic updates have been written here specifically approach has been told to you hints have been given two different approaches have been specifically mentioned how you can solve it and then you have it in your favorite language as simple as that what better than this you have everything available but still i'll tell you 
first solve yourself and then see solutions fine now once you're done with it comes the elephant in the room dynamic programming fine often people fear it and this is a method in which you can solve the problems by breaking them into the simpler tasks and when you break down them into simpler sub problems you store the solutions so that there is no redundant work happening there is no work which is again and again happening and it's of no use you can just one time get the values and store them if that is possible then you break it down into simpler sub problems and do that fine now most common problems that are asked here are knapsack problems longest common subsequence i showed you longest common sequence above and there are various other problems now a lot of people are con conceptually confused that what exactly should i study in dynamic programming because even dynamic programming is divided in 1d and 2d programming fine so for that i'll show you one interesting thing see in this list of top 150 not out if i move below see here you have proper 1d 2d dynamic programming first of all you have proper given solutions of all these problems climbing stairs min cost climbing stairs and this is all 1d dynamic programming fine now once you complete this you have 2d dynamic programming as well available for you proper questions from easy to hard then you have greedy problems as well fine where you have to use greedy approach those problems are also available so even if some interviewer mix the concepts of 2d or greedy or he mix the concept of 1d and 2d problems then you have a great idea of all these topics you can solve them easily fine that solves your problem if you're having any interview if you're having any tech round if you're having any coding round i'm not kidding practice this top 150 not out questions if you know them at the back of your hand i can guarantee you you can clear any tech interview today i have my friends who are working in oracle fine they are three years experienced developers and these guys are still solving the same list they are not changing the questions they are still solving the same list and interestingly both of them have acquired offers both of them have got better offers and both of them have got their package matched in the oracle and they are staying there imagine imagine that kind of proficiency which is being asked even after three years of experience if you develop today how good and disruptive you will be for industry fine so with that i will tell you go ahead keep on working hard and alongside that keep on spreading this knowledge as far as you can even if you don't share my video you go ahead share the knowledge that you have that is important and if you like this video then you're most welcome to share it but alongside that go ahead follow us on all the social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update from our side and top three comments get free access to prep insta prime they stand a chance to win this but interestingly a lot of students are impatient that we are not getting any such value we are not getting this subscription for free so to clear that confusion out i'm telling you from the next video the next video you get after this video we'll be giving the giveaways we'll be giving the names of the people with the comment i'll show their comment i'll tell them to do an email to us and be ready it can be your name in the giveaway fine so for giveaway all you need to do is subscribe to this channel and comment below this video fine all that's needed for getting this prep insta prime subscription for free for standing a chance to win this all you need to do is you straight away go into the comment section you comment something and subscribe whatever you felt with this video if you liked it go comment it if you didn't like it again go comment it as simple as that if you have some query again put it in the comment section and without any expectation as i always say keep doing good for others good will come back to you i can promise you that this is tried and tested i have tried and tested this many times and henceforth i can tell you this with my utmost honesty go ahead keep doing good have a wonderful day bye bye